Brina and Kim, a Belgian couple who spent a year and a half traveling the world before recently returning home to Belgium, where we bought this Ford Transit that we're converting into a camper van. After three months of working on the van full time, we are now finally getting close to that magical moment where we'll actually hit the road and start our van life journey. Today we are going to work on one of the most exciting parts of this build, on the centerpiece, if you will, of our little van, the kitchen. Good morning and welcome back to another day of van building. Today we are going to do one of the most exciting parts about this entire van build because it's very close, well getting really close to the finish line now. We're going to build out our kitchen and our kitchen cabinets, put in the countertops, make it look like a proper kitchen, which right now it isn't really. Today we are assembling our kitchen cabinets, drawers and fronts. Getting some help from Yuri who you saw in one of the previous videos when we did the solar. Kind of look like this but yeah not sure if we can pull this off it's gonna be uh, difficult i guess to get it like really nice and really straight but we're gonna give it a try Yuri is very good at woodworking <laughs> so yeah he studied woodworking in school so uh, we need his help but it's more than 10 years ago so. <laughs> the problem is that apparently these little planks are not all perfectly straight which then makes it very difficult to turn this into a cabinet door that is straight but we will see if it works So right now, this is what we have for the kitchen so far. We built the cabinets a while ago. Um, we have a fridge in here. We have a bunch of parts that we still need to put in later. Like we have the stove top, the sink, also all in here somewhere. And then the boys already put in these two drawers. These are sort of test drawers. They don't have any handles on them yet, but they work quite beautifully. Um, they have soft clothes on them. We have two on either side. So now we're gonna fit two more drawers down here, bigger ones two down here and then two normal cabinet doors over here which is what they will be making today we uh, brought some tools we have a pocket hole tool which we're using to create these let's say hidden screwing joints so we can put a screw here and the screw goes into the wood and then it's hidden behind there and now we're going to use this biscuit jointer biscuit machine it doesn't make real biscuits unfortunately <laughs> but it does make some uh <laughs> are, they any, are they any good, no, not good. <laughs> these are the biscuits that we're going to be using to join the several parts of the yeah. cabinet door together so these will be put in between here and <laughs> whoops and here to uh when we glue it so it gives additional connection, additional strength, and we're going to be using this machine for it. So, this is what the door looks like now. It is actually really, really, it worked really, really well. It is sturdy because they glued it down and screwed it in there and it's quite, quite beautiful. Um, but we're gonna finish up the sides a little bit because right now you can still see on the edge here that the door is made of several planks, even though it's already super smooth, they smoothened that out. We're gonna put a little edge band here. This stuff, about this length, instead of the texture of the wood. You don't see this anymore, but it looks like it's actual wooden. To do that, we're gonna be using a flat iron. This is actually a travel iron that my mom gave me. She's had it for years. So this is the original box of the iron. And it is actually almost as old as me, because here on the receipt, you can see it has been bought mm -hmm. in 96. So, yeah, almost as old as me. But it's perfect, perfect for this, because what we now do, there is glue on the bottom of this, and if we heat it up with the iron, the glue will self-attach magically to the little door. So nice and calm. We heat it up a little bit. Go back and forth a few times. I actually like doing this. I did this for a bunch of the cabinets that we already put in. It's pretty satisfying work to see once it's finished.
See if it fits, see if it works well here. I like how it looks. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And it is well made, I do have to say. I like how it looks. Size is perfect. I mean, it looks really nice. <laughs> really glad how this turned out. You really did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly your. <laughs> great job, Yuri. All right, so Yuri has left. He's done a ton of work today to get with us on these beautiful, beautiful doors for the kitchen cabinets. It is huge. But look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. I can't believe that we made this. We, we and Yuri. I mean, not gonna take all the credit here, but... Who's Yuri? You would... I mean, this looks like it's from a store. I really, really like how it turned out. This will be the secret hatch. This has our gas bottle in it. If you remember, a couple of videos ago, we were building these cabinets, and then we realized we had to adjust the bit just to make this bottle fit. It's the only one that would really fit. We figured we could make this into a trap door with some hinges, but on the other hand, I mean... It would be nice if we could just take the door off then we have more room to put it in so we're just gonna put in these magnets and i think this will hold up i mean these magnets are six kilos strong we have a bunch of them we're gonna try with two so you would think we're straight up geniuses because now when you put this in it fits perfectly you put two little magnets but then the gas bottle outsmarted us once again. So there's one here and one there. And it just won't fit. I feel like we've been down this road before. Yes, I'm just strange deja vu feeling. It's not really the smartest thing we've done, we've done today. You naughty little bottle. Even with one, it doesn't fit. We're just gonna have to put two at the top. Two at the top, people, two at the top. <laughs> this is the next day. We are still finishing up our kitchen cabinets, taking a bit longer than expected. But so it does everything when you're building a van, unfortunately. So far, it looks super, super good. What are we doing next? Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit tired. We are installing our countertops and our kitchen sink and the faucet. The panels are made by a company called Unilin. And this color is a walnut color. It's called Lorenzo Walnut Medium Brown. We chose it because we think it's gonna go really, really well and add a bit of warmth to the interior with all the white that we have going on here. I could not be happier with how they look, so super excited to get these in, to put some holes in there. We taped it out, we measured it three or four times. Hopefully it is right, otherwise we're a very big problem. A little bit nervous about this because, yeah, I mean, just look at the hole. It is paramount that we saw on the inside of the tape here, which is why I put about 20 arrows pointing to this side. Because if we do it on this side, if we saw on this side, then the sink will just fall straight through the hole. I just love it. Look how big it is. Just trying to complete, ah, complete the puzzle here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it still moves. We still have to firmly attach it. Also, don't know if you've noticed that we put a little bit of work into our headliner shelf this morning and I'd say that the hatch here is 
well, about 50% finished. We put in this piece, this piece. I put felt all the way on the inside where there used to be the black insulation, the Arma Flex. We already have the hatch, but we don't have the hinges to put it on yet. So we're gonna go to the Gamma tomorrow morning, get the hinges, get a bunch of other stuff that we need for the drainage, for the pipes, and then we're gonna continue in the morning. episode of Kim and Lake's microwavable <laughs> oh, that's hot microwavable meals we're gonna have some pumpkin chickpea soup kindly donated to us by my parents which is really really nice because it's getting as you may have noticed by our clothing these days it's getting really really cold outside it's around freezing temperature actually pretty much all, all every night and I guess most of the day as well thank you mom thank you dad it's good. This is our gas hob, gas stove. Switching out some stuff here because we need to convert it into... Yeah, need to convert it from normal household gas to uh, propane, butane. So we need to do uh, some adjustments to this so it will work properly. And hopefully not set our van on fire. This is where we're going to install the gas hob right here. But as you can see, some connections to the shower here because it was very convenient to place them here. It's not a band-aid, looks a bit like it, but this is heat protection. can take up to 500 or 1000 degrees even. So it should be able to take like 100 degrees from the gas stove. I'm gonna put this around here as a precautionary measure. You never know, never hurts to have a bit of extra stuff. installed the stove top now before we put it into the countertop we're first gonna test whether there's any leak here or a connecting bit on the other side for that we're gonna use some soap water because if there are bubbles blowing out that means there's gas coming out of this hose right here which is not supposed to happen and then you know we have a leak so it's a very safe way the only safe way I think to check for leaks it's gonna take a while because there are some bubbles in there anyway so have to wait for those to Maybe you can use a lighter. No, let's not do that. If anyone sees any air blowing out, please alert me in the comment section to this video before this van kills us. Just to be sure, we also have a gas detector right here, which we're gonna mount somewhere around here. It's time to have our first meal that we're gonna have in the van. It's not gonna be anything fancy because we only brought microwavable stuff. But we have one thing that is microwavable and can also be cooked. It's bandu it pan. It's also panable. First meal gonna be these pancakes. We're just gonna heat them up heat them in up. the pan. Well, we didn't really foresee it being finished now. I always think we were probably gone for something more fancy, but we yeah. have to test it out. Go, 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 go. How does this work? No idea how long this takes. I think it's just a, like a minute. It says one minute. One minute. How long is this going to take? Try for the next one. I'll do it better. I was trying to flip it, but it wouldn't flip. And I don't have the ah, hot. I don't have the proper utensils to make it. And see your judgment. It's not helping. <laughs> First meal in the. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it now. Are we gonna roll it or? We didn't bring any cutlery. 
No, we didn't. It's gonna do it like this. It's gonna be very, very fluffy. <laughs> if you've been watching our videos, you will know this is our bed and also our seating area. Multi-purpose. It converts from a table into a bed with help of this lagoon table mount. It's a table mount used on mostly many boats and yachts made by a company called Marine Take, I think. And uh, mounts like this. It swivels around like this, like this, and like this, and up and down as well. So we need to get our uh, table on top of this and then, well, they're all finished actually. So go ahead and make this go up and down, up and down, up and down can be a little smoother but I mean and in the back we made some support here with some beams and some uh, some additional things to make it stronger and hopefully it won't fall over only thing that's got me a little bit worried with this table mount is the sheer weight of our table this table mount is probably the ultimate most popular option out there for people who are doing van life or even boat life. It should be able to hold a table up to 120 centimeters, or so it says on the website, and ours is 126. Yeah, I think the six centimeters. But it's super heavy though. It's really, really heavy. I think this table could well be 12 to 13 kilograms. Yeah, this is quite heavy though. <laughs> Almost decapitated her. Just let's measure it out. This should solve the problem just a little bit because it will lift the table mount. Well, it will move the table mount itself a little bit, a little bit like this actually. So it should be more level and then. And it is included with the table mount, so it should be fine. Let's measure it just to be sure. 3618. Holy crap. 36.6. Damn, those guys are good. No wonder why these table mounts, this brand, Laguna Table Mount, is pretty much the only brand you'll ever see in any van tour video. Pretty much everyone has them, and for good reason. They made this little piece just for situations like this, and look at it! Ah. This is the above our headliner, above our, above our cabin. This is the headliner shelf. Made a nice little hatch here. I think we're gonna store our blankets here, but there's still a small hole here, a significant hole, I would say. And you could make it straight, but then we have this hole here, so we thought, let's do a little Frankensteining and find something. This is our beta version that we made. I think for our first try, it's not too bad. It um, fits pretty well. It I mean. fits pretty well overall until we get to about here. We can't finish this off with the little little profile pieces that we're gonna be using for the rest of the ceiling because it would just be a bit of a weird situation over here. You can't you can't finish that off nicely. So we wanna make it again. Try to cut it again, this time a little bit to the side here so that it covers up this little hole with the insulation sticking out in the back. This is really perfect. In the world of carpenting and building your own stuff, this is, wait, wait. Look at this. That is unbelievable. Follows the edge nicely here, then it goes like this, then, I mean, this is perfect. Bam. We are really happy with how the kitchen turned out so far. We're gonna finalize, tweak it a little bit in the next video and then put the finishing touches on the van in what we really hope and strongly believe will be our last van build video before you finish up the van and hit the road. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a big like and subscribe if you wanna follow along on the rest of our journey and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.